Hey, what's up guys, Michael here. In today's video, uh, I will discuss the strategy that is, I think, one of the best ones uh, for uh, for the beginners, tr for the beginner traders that are currently starting their journey. And for example, uh, they heard about crypto and they would like to, you know, start uh, trading with, uh, with cryptocurrency. So uh, normally, uh, if you are, you know, investing in crypto, you would be using a wallet uh, like Binance or some other exchange. Uh, or other ledger, something like that. But in order to, you know, take advantage fully over this strategy, we will be using uh, our Light Finance account because here we can use a CFD on a cryptocurrency and therefore conduct not only uh, the long trades, but also the short trades. So this strategy uh, is very, very simple. Uh, so I think uh, you will have no problem uh, with the understanding of uh, its uh, its basis, if its core. And you are probably wondering why this strategy uh, is suits best to trade on crypto. Well, it is uh, because still on cryptocurrencies, there are not that much of, you know, whales, big funds, etc. And therefore, this market is, uh, we can say, more pure and that there are not that much uh, of, uh, you know, fake moves and, uh, you know, market noise on the lower time frames. So therefore, uh, the cryptocurrencies, uh, yeah, the strategies based on technical analysis works very good in uh, cryptocurrency markets. So uh, maybe let's start uh, from the beginning and, uh, you know, let's uh, go to the platform. So right here we have the real time Bitcoin chart and the strategy goes as follows. We need to add three simple moving averages. So let's start adding them. Go to the insert, indicators, trend and moving average. Uh, this is a MetaTrader 5 platform. You have it available for free on the Light Finance uh, broker. And uh, yeah, you can, uh, yeah, this uh, moving average is also uh, built in indicators. So without, uh, without no problem, you can use it uh, in the, yeah, while trading. So the first moving average will be 13 period and yeah, dark orange, the thickness is okay. Let's add that, add another one to rent moving average. The second moving average will be eight period. Let's uh, make it, for example, green. And the third moving average will be five period. And let's make it blue. So, okay. This strategy goes as follows. It is very simple. So as you can see, you have the moments when the price is consolidating and when the bigger movement starts to form. So basically, uh, this strategy works as follows. When you have, uh, when those uh, all three trend lines starts to combine into, you know, uh, in the narrow, uh, narrow trend channel, narrow channel, narrow trend channel, we can say, this is the signal that stronger movement begins and it is the signal for you to enter the market either long or short. So it works in both directions, meaning either uh, it is good for long trades and short trades, meaning it is good for buying and selling. So let's uh, check some examples right here. And uh, as I said in the beginning, this is a scalping strategy. Uh, so we will deal with the lower time frame. And I choose, for example, the five minutes time frame M5. You can set it right here on the left side on the platform. And uh, yeah, let's uh, check uh, some examples. Let's uh, discuss them how you could, uh, for example, enter a trade. So we have the situation right here. Um, I missed that. So let's uh, find. Yes, uh, it's it is right here. So we have the situation right here. When we are, for example, consolidating here, the lines are crossing each other many times. And right here, the most important one, the fastest one, which is the five period starts, it crossed the other two and indicated the stronger move upward. So when we see that all three lines are starting to pointing in one direction, which is 
the opposite to this kind of situation where two are pointing upside but the the slowest one is still pointing downward so therefore we are uh, starting to uh, yeah uh, looking for the entry and in this example we would entry somewhere over here right so uh, at here we would see that this uh, moving average uh, of this candle it uh, crossed the it crossed the other two and while forming this candle you could now clearly see that uh, all three lines are pointing into one direction so as for the rules uh, how to trade this strategy where to place a stop loss and take profit i think the three two one rule is the best i do not uh, recommend using the trailing stop because trailing stop losses are not that good uh, and uh, most of the time they do not function very well so uh, three to one risk reward ratio which means that if we for example enter let's say here our stop loss would be at the nearest lowest low right so our stop loss would be somewhere over here so now let's measure where we could uh, place a take profit and the best way to do it is to you know insert an object shape rectangle for example measure it in this way hit control left click on left click mouse button and hold not this one this one come on okay so this is one to one two to one more or less and three to one so as you can see for example this trade would be profitable and let's uh, check the other example where we had would have a sell option a sell trade and we do not have to look uh, further from this one we have it, we have it right uh, here now i want to zoom in so we have it right here as you can see we were having this move upward again here you could also enter upward but uh, hey let's uh, now discuss the short uh, short example of a short trade so here we have uh, some short sideways movement and right here the five period moving average crossed the other two and right here they are starting to point point in one direction which is a downward so somewhere over here we could enter a trade So let's uh, mark it here. Our stop loss in this situation would be over here. Yeah, if you would, uh, you would be uh, very specific, it would be somewhere over here. But hey, this is the nearest low. So yeah, let's mark it over here. And now let's, uh, yeah, let's measure uh, with the rectangle objects, shapes, rectangle. Let's uh, draw a rectangle over here and now we have one come on two three i think maybe i think it would hit our take profit level but i am not sure either way you would not lose on this trade because uh, the another rule that i suggest using because this is a good tip after uh, if you have such a strategy that uh, the risk when you are using risk reward ratio three to one after reaching the first like uh, the first point one to one when uh, the profit is uh, this the same level as a potential stop loss uh, as your stop loss level therefore you could simply just move to the break even level which is the stop loss from here you could move over here to the entry level and therefore the trade is uh, free because uh, from here the worst case scenario is that you will be just break even you will not earn from this trade, but you will not lose also so uh, of course uh, there are some bad signals right like right over here and it is uh, just that you need to filter them out because over here you could also see that for example we went uh, from downward uh, from upward movement we stopped here and start the downward movement the five period moving average crossed the other two pointing downwards and 
the other two slightly start sloping down downward as well and from here we saw the reversal moment and yeah we could be stopped out most probably over here or over here if we had a slightly higher stop loss so yeah uh, as any of the strategy this is not a perfect strategy but i think it is very simple to use especially for a beginner trader and as uh, for the profitability the win ratio of this strategy uh, i will share the back test uh, with you on other social medias which is tiktok and instagram uh, so be sure to follow uh, light finance broker over there too because i am posting uh, also their educational stuff and yeah things like the uh, the results from the back test of uh, various strategies that i was testing for example on youtube or also on uh, yeah uh, on other platforms so guys i think that there shouldn't be no bigger issue with using this strategy you have all the tools available for free the indicator and the platform provided by your broker so i think that uh, yeah this is a good uh, starting point uh, for you to you know start your journey and start learning various uh, strategies so i think that will be all from my side if you liked the video then thank you for watching and just follow for more